Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this is a follow-up on that uh, video I posted a few minutes ago uh, doing a repair for Robert. Now, uh, Robert contacted me last week. Uh, he's in San Diego, California, and uh, said he had a Mark's Canadian Pacific that had belonged to his father, and it didn't run, and there was no one there to uh, do repairs on Mark's motors. In fact, it's very difficult to find anyone who does repairs on Mark's motors. Anyway, he asked me if I would be kind enough to take a look at it. So it arrived today and it had an intermittent problem. It would run and then it would stop. It would buzz, but it would not run. And it would run backwards, it would run forwards, and then it would stop. Then it would run backwards and it wouldn't run at all. And uh, I originally thought it was the E unit, but after testing it, I discovered it was not the E unit. It was, in fact, the armature. There was an open coil, an intermittent open coil in the armature itself. So I uh, had another armature, pulled it out and uh, put it in his motor. That solved the problem. It was instantly up and running. So I put a new contactor on it for him. Uh, the one he had was fairly worn and uh, lots of oxide on it. Anyway, I swapped out the main contactor, put in a new light bulb, shipped it back to him today. So a five hour turnaround. In any case, it was an interesting problem. So I started looking at that armature I could find nothing physically wrong with it. So uh, I figured it was just a bad winding. And so just for the sake of testing it, I uh, resoldered all the connections on that armature. And that's what the problem was. It was either a cold solder joint or a broken solder joint. It was impossible to see it. And uh, I just took a chance and uh, resoldered them all. And that's what the problem was. Anyway, I uh, put that armature in this uh, uh, bypassed motor. This, this is a double reduction, by the way. So put that armature in, and it's up and running, as you can see. So it was a really simple repair. The hard part was, of course, finding out what the problem was. So like I said, it was a bad solder joint on one of the coils on the armature itself. And it's almost impossible to troubleshoot that. You have to have a meter. I mean, trying to troubleshoot it by running it, you will never, ever solve the problem. So in any case, that's what the problem was. It was a either a bad solder joint, a cold solder joint, broken solder joint, hard to tell. And uh, you couldn't physically tell by looking at it that the solder joint was bad. But uh, I just uh, went around to each solder joint, added just a small bit of solder to it, and that was the problem. It's up and running. And I had to... Uh, Resolder the wire on the brush plate itself. But the nice thing about it, of course, is the fact that it fixed it. It repaired it. It's running. So I just thought it was an interesting uh, repair. So I wanted to do a quick follow-up video. So the uh, Canadian Pacific is on its way back. It was here for a grand total of five hours. Dropped it off at the post office today. And uh, in the meantime, I was able to repair that armature. So uh, it was a simple repair once you discovered what the problem was. Like I said, you've got to have a meter to uh, test those coils. They should uh, read 1.1 1 .1 ohms across the coil itself. Anyway, that's what the problem was. I resoldered the connections and this thing is up and running. So I just want to do a quick follow-up video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com And as always, thank you for watching.